Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic thunder and lightning. So what this is going to do is it's just going to flash on screen and also play the thunder sound effect. So it won't actually have a lightning fork, but I'll show you what this is going to look like. So it's going to look something like this. And then you also hear the thunder as well, in which this is also a random thunder sound effect. So we have multiple different ones and it'll play random ones each time. And these lightning strikes are also random, so they'll happen at random intervals each one will be random lengths stuff like that so I'll show you how we're gonna do this now so in the previous tutorial I showed you how to create this raining hit that we have here so if you haven't watched that I'd recommend watching it but you don't actually need it for this tutorial but obviously it will make this look a lot nicer as of raining so I'll leave that in the description down below and on screen now so the first step for the lightning and thunder is what we're gonna do is go to the level blueprint so we go to blueprints open level blueprint and then we're going to do this off of event begin play. So if we just get that, so event begin play, I haven't used it so I can do that. But if you have used it, if you hold on S, left click and get a sequence, put in the code you have now off of then zero, and then this new code off of then one. But I don't need that as I haven't used it yet. And then what we're going to do is get a reference to our skylight. So if we just minimize that like so, and then select our skylight up here, I'm just going to drag and drop that into the level blueprint there. So drag and drop this skylight in and get that in there like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come out of this and we're going to set intensity of the light component like so, and then plug that into event begin play. So the intensity is just basically the sun, so how bright it is, which is obviously how we're going to be setting the lightning. So obviously the whole sky lights up when there's lightning, so we're going to do it like that. So by default it should be 1, so what I'm going to do is set this to 10. Now you could increase this as much as you like, get it as bright as you want, but I think 10 is good for me, and a good way of seeing is just actually changing it in the viewport here, so we can see what it's going to look like. So 10 will be like that, if you want it as 20, it's like that. So you can do anything like that just to make it a little bit brighter for you. So I'm going to put that in there like so. And then after this, I'm going to hold down D, left click and get a delay. And then for this delay, I'm going to have this as random. So I'll come out of the duration and get a random float in range. With the minimum for this one being 0 0.1, maximum being 0 0.3. Sorry, that's 0 0.3, not 0 0.03. So what this is going to do is just get a random length between 0 0.1 seconds and 0 0.3 seconds. Now this won't look too different, but you will actually be able to notice the different. But obviously lightning is very quick, so we want this to be very quick as well. And what we're going to do is duplicate the set intensity again. So plug set intensity there after the delay once again with the target again being the light component. And then again, the intensity can be either 10, 20, whatever you like. I might actually put this one up to 20 just to make it a little bit lighter where it's at the peak of this, as this is going to be the peak of my lightning. So I just want it to be a little bit brighter like so. And then once again, get another delay. And again, with the random float in range like so. And this one, I want to be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. So again, just put these at random values for you. So it's just going to be different lengths each time. So obviously this can be between 0 0.1, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. This can be 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. And then, same process again. So we're going to get the delay, set intensity, and the delay again. I just plug those in there like that. Actually, I didn't need that delay. So we can then just do that. Target, once again, light component. I'll set this back to 10 or 14, just to give it a little bit different each time. And again, you can also make this random as well. So you can just put random float in range in here as well, if you wanted. And so then this one, I'm going to set to be between 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 again so I think I did that there yeah and then once again I'm just going to copy and paste these as this one is also going to be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 and I'll set this one back down to 10 like so actually I'm going to set this one to be between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 instead and then I'll get one more and set that to be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 again making sure to plug the target into the light component each time of the set intensity like so and then one final time I'm going to get the set intensity again so set intensity after this delay target being the scene component down here light component sorry and this time we're going to set the new intensity back to one so now we've got all the lightning in and done and now we just want to put this back to the normal intensity which is one or it could be zero for you just basically your default which if you haven't changed it it'll be one and then once again hold down d left click and get a delay see it's very repetitive as we just want to be getting these different timings for the lighting and sounds and this one is also going to be a random float in range and this one I'm going to put between 1 and 3. And so what this is going to be is the time between the lightning strike and the thunder. So all of this is for the lighting. And then this delay here is for the actual sound. So 1 to 3 seconds after the lightning strike, 
I want to hear the thunder. So you can change this to be however long you want. And then after this, I'm gonna actually get the play sound at location and we'll get that sound in a minute. Hold down D, left click, get another delay with another random float in range. And this one is gonna be between each lightning strike. So I'm gonna set this to between five and 10. Obviously you might want to actually increase this as this is how long it's gonna be until it lightning strikes again. So if you want this to be longer, which you probably will in your actual game, you might wanna set this to 20 and 30 or something. So anywhere between five and 10 seconds after the lightning strike, it's gonna happen again. And then we'll come out the completed of this and just go back into this first set intensity there just so that it then loops this like so. And I'm actually also just gonna get a reroute node like that just so I can see what it's doing a lot better. But again, yeah, that is how long it is in between each individual lightning strike. So that works perfectly. So now what we're gonna do is actually get the sound. And actually that won't be play sound at location, I'll just do play sound 2D instead. You can do location if you want, but I think 2D for me is gonna be good as I just want this thunder to be everywhere as it's gonna be so loud. But obviously you can put it in the distance or put it anywhere you want. So I compile and save that, and like I say, we're gonna make our sound. So if we minimize this, I've already imported all these thunder sound effects, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below and on screen now. It's a playlist of thunder sound effects, which I recorded myself. So you can choose your own ones from this or get different ones from free sound or anywhere, but these are the ones that I have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import those, make sure they're wav.16bit files. And we're gonna right click, go to sounds and get a sound cue. I'm just gonna call this thunder cue like so. And we're gonna open that up straight away. And what I'm gonna do is just import the ones I want in here. So I think out of these, I want five and six. So I'm just gonna drag and drop them in there like so and move them down here. Again, use as many as you want, as little as you want, whichever ones you want. So then because I want these to be random, so we have different sounds each time, I'm gonna come out of the top one and get a random node and then plug the other one into there. Out of the output, I'm gonna get a modulator and that is then gonna go into the output of the sound cue itself. So every time this is called, it's gonna play a random sound out of all the ones we have. So we can just save and close that and put that into this play sound there. So I press that arrow there, though that's not the one I want. So I'll just search for thunder Q and put it in there like so. Now if we hit compile and save, this should work. So now, like I say, this should work. So if we hit play, you can see we got the lightning there. And then now we should also be getting the sound effect. You can hear the thunder in the background there. That one's not too loud, but this one should maybe be a little bit louder. As you see there, that sounds a lot better as that sound effect is just better. Now, I think 20 is a bit too bright personally for me. So what I'm gonna do is actually just set all these back down to 10, which is what I did have originally. I just thought I'll try 20 for this, but 10 works a lot better for me. So compile, save, and we'll test this again. I think that's a lot better for me. So that works great. So we have the lightning visually, and then we also have the sound effect afterwards, and these will all play at random times each time. And again, because it's all completely random, we can change the length in between each one. So obviously we have these random floats in ranges here in which we can set the time between each one. So we can increase it if we wanted. So 0.3, 0 0.4. And also I have done this slightly wrong as well as I just put this to 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 each time when obviously that's not what we want. So we want it to go 10 and then one. So back to normal, 10 and then one and 10 and then one like so so we want it to go bright normal bright normal so it's like different lightning strikes so now this should look a lot better so i was wondering why it looked a bit odd that's why there we go that looks way better already so now we have the lightning looking like that and then we get the thunder afterwards as well and these are all completely random and again the final delay is how long between each lightning strike so you can increase that to get it to take longer each time and obviously you might want to do that if you have longer sound effects. So that works great. So I think that'll be it for this video. As we've done everything we want to do, we've set it up so we have the rain in the last episode and we also have the lightning striking at random times each time and then also the random sound effect as well. So this looks and sounds great. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, Make sure to like, subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.